I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry of compound angles. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. Here is one of the questions from our subscriber. We need to prove that cos 3a plus cos 5a plus 2 times cos a cos 9a equals to 0 if 13a equals to 180 degrees. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now to prove this identity, we might need to apply some formulas. So let me share those formulas with you, and then we'll begin the proof. So one of them is, what is cos A plus B, right? So cos of, let's write capital A plus B, right? Is basically equal to cos A cos B minus sin a sin b correct and if we have cos of a minus b then in that case it is equals to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b right and if we add these two right so if we just add them up In that case, we get a formula which is cos A plus B plus cos of A minus B is equals to twice. These two factors, they cancel, right? So we get twice cos A cos B. So that is one formula which we can apply and we can reduce this term rather change this term twice cos a 9a into a form with using a plus b right so the first step uh, which i am going to do is basically to write our equation using this particular formula correct so i'll rewrite the equation as cos of 3a plus cos of 5a plus now 2 times cos a plus b is cos a plus b plus cos a minus b now a and b here is lowercase a and 9a right so we could write this as cos of a plus 9a plus cos of a minus 9a correct now this can be written as cos of 3a plus cos of 5a now a plus 9a is 10a and here we get cos of minus 8a now cos of minus 8a is also cos a right cos is an even function so we have cos of 3a plus cos of 5a plus cos of 10a and this is cos of 8a right let's be very clear about this we know cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta okay. cos is even function and uh, to give you a view here we know the cost rule right so so as you can understand for any angle theta cos has same value this is minus theta correct so they have the same value okay now let's move forward we are also given a condition here which says 13a is equal to 180 degrees so 10a could be written as a combination of 13 minus 3 and 8a could be written as 13 minus 5 so we are going to rewrite these expressions so we get cos of 3a plus cos of 5a plus cos of we are writing this as 13a minus 10a plus cos of 13a minus 5a now 13a is 180 degrees so we'll write this as cos of 3a plus cos of 5a plus cos of 180 degrees minus 10a plus cos of 180 degrees minus 5a correct 
Now, what does that remind you of? 180 degrees minus theta. So, in cosine function, if we are talking about this angle, which is 180 degrees minus theta, where theta is this angle, right? So, in this quadrant, cos is negative, right? So, basically, we know that this is equal to, we'll write down the, so cos of 180 degrees minus theta is equals to minus cos theta, okay? It is negative of this value, okay? Where this is theta. So, these two terms can now be rewritten as negative of these angles, okay? So, uh, sorry, it should be thir 10 is 13 minus 3a, right? Yeah, sorry. Okay, so cos of 3a plus cos of 5a plus, now 180 minus 3a, right? We had 10, 10 is thir 13 minus 3 is 10, right? Now, 180 minus 3a is negative cos of theta. So, we could replace this with negative cos of theta is 3, 3a. This is negative cos of 5a. Now, from here, these two terms cancel and we get this as equal to 0. Clear? So, that is what we needed to prove. So, hence proved. Is that clear? So, that is how we can actually prove this identity. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.